again, remember we said that there were some parental controls that you could install in the Chrome Web Store, uh, Bloxy being one. Um, this is probably going to be your best free option. Um, there's ways to get into it, to create up, manage, to to um, be able to remotely manage devices. Uh, but the problem that you come into it is, is how easily it is to disable it uh, by a student. Um, so that, that's something that you want to consider whenever you're going into it. Um, are you doing this more for uh, just general, I'm trying to protect the student, or I'm trying to more of, I'm trying to keep the student from going places that they know they shouldn't go. Um, so that, that's a conversation you would have with your student to determine which path you want to go. So the two, the two that I've been talking about, uh, the MobiSip and Custodio, I'm going to dive into Custodio for just a minute and then move on to MobiSip. For Custodio, uh, I've logged into my accounts uh, so that you can see here. Um, you can see three children uh, and you can add devices. You can add a profile. If you need to add a profile, you click add profile, put in the kid's name, the birth year, boy or girl, and then they give you very limited uh, options as far as what emoji you're going to use, um, avatar that you're going to use. Uh, and, and so you're going to select the one that, hey, most closely describes or just, you know, looks like my kid. Uh, you don't really get an option to add additional things in here. Uh, there are different girls and boys, um, but you don't get an option to add upload your own picture or anything. You just use one of the, the six predefined for a boy or six predefined for the girl. So um, th those will be in there. And you can have as many profiles as you want to, but remember this is tied to devices, not to profiles. So if you get the five device and you can only use five, if all five devices are on one profile, it's great. If you have five different profiles, with five different devices that's great too so the the account is tied to the number of profiles or tied to the number of devices not the number of profiles so i've, I've gone in here um you can see activity activity summary social activity web activity activity timeline but here's where i'm really going to uh, land for this this video is in the rules uh so once you've got this account set up you you've created the account you've added the profile names then you would take your your child's or your student's device um if it's an ios android device um if it's a windows mac Mac device, and you would install the software onto their device. So if it's Windows or Mac, there's actually a download that you'd go to custodio.com and download the software. If it's an iOS and Android, then you'd go to the respective uh, Play Store or App Store, download Custodio, install it, and then log into it. The first time you're going to log in, you're going to use your login the admins login for that account and the first question it's going to ask you is it's going to say is this a parent or a child uh who is who's using this am, am i setting this up to be monitored or am i setting this device up to monitor so as a parent you can you can add custodio to yours and use it as a monitor if you're putting it onto a child's device uh then you would you would be monitoring that device and so you would set it up as the child so then it would ask you hey you have these profiles which profile which and so um, which device are you adding? So if it hasn't added the device, um, then you would just select the profile and automatically add the device for you. So in the web browsing rules, this is this is where you can get a very broad spectrum. Um, what do you want it to do? Enable web, web category restrictions? Yes or no? It's just a simple toggle. Uh, what are you going to allow? Uh, are you going to allow um, these different things, social networking, chat, file sharing, gambling, loopholes, violence, weapons, profanity, tobacco, drugs, alcohol, pornography, mature content, or employment? Those are the ones that are blocked out, completely blocked out on this device, on this account. Uh, if you say, hey, I, wanna, I want them to be able to use social networking, but I want to monitor the web category. So you're going to send me an alert every time they go to social networking chat is not text messaging chat is just what it sounds like a chat service uh, so are you going to to monitor the ca category allow it or disallow it those are your three options allow alert or block alert is just going to send you an email every time that they access it but it is going to allow it to move on through Blocking is going to send you an email every time that they, they knock up against that that uh, category, and it's going to actually block it and, and not allow them to move through to it. Uh, allowing, they're just going to be able to allow, and it's going to go through, and, and it's done. There are certain websites that are uncategorized or unknown categories. Uh, 
you can set that to allow unknown categories, or you can say, no, you're not going to allow anything that's an unknown category. So even if it's, even if it should fall into educational or it should fall into business or it should fall into games, if it's uncategorized, then it's not going to let it through because it doesn't know which one of these to apply. So it's going to say, no, done. Safe searching is forcing a safe search environment so that it helps to filter out some unwanted images and those things that maybe get through the filter because they're not categorized properly and block site notification. Email me when a site is blocked. You can tell it no if you just get tired of seeing it or yes, and it's going to send you an email every time. You can add some web ex uh, exceptions. So you can whitelist or blacklist some things. Uh, if, you, if you have something that they knock up against, let's say that you're wanting to allow them um, there there's social networking you're going to let them use Facebook but they're not going to be able to use anything else so then you got social networking blocked but in in the allow category I'll put facebook.com um, and click add for allow or if there's a gaming site that that's allowed but there's you know all the gaming categories is allowed but there's certain categories of games that they knock up against it's like whoa we can't be playing that that shouldn't have popped up I thought it would have fallen in one of these other categories but it didn't boom I can go here I can block um, and then you would add that into a whitelist or blacklist time usage limits is the next one. Uh, inside here, you can set up the time usage per device or per user. Uh, if you set it up as the profile per user, then any device that is associated with that user or that profile is going to have the same same time limits. If not, you can set up a per per device. Notice that red is going to be blocked out, restricted time. If this is their cell phone, say, hey, you're not using your cell phone at school, then um, it's as easy as clicking and dragging across and saying, okay, well, from eight o'clock to three o'clock, you can't use your cell phone, period. And so if they go to try to use it, it's going to say your time limit's up, you're done. Uh, if you need to unlock things, then you can unlock them. If you need to, if you're going on a long trip and you're saying, hey, I'm going to let you use your phone to, to watch videos, watch Netflix, watch something else. Um, yeah, I know. Um, I just made it mad, you can see. Um, if you're wanting to be able to unlock some things and you can just unlock them and there they're unlocked and um, there's nothing that you have to do there's not a save button so it's, ju it's just going to be done uh, again you can set this um, to be per device you can enable schedule or disable schedule if you disable schedule then it's just going to allow things all the time and not be worried about time this is where i said you can get granular how do you lock what happens if once they get it in there it locks the navigation which means that they can't they can't go to the internet but they still use the device lock the device they can't use the internet or the device um, or just alert me that they're trying to use it. So, I mean, you can go this, yes, alert me, and then all of a sudden it's going to let you know. Uh, where this could be an alert could be, you know, cumbersome is to say that your child's device is, you've got to lock navigation, which prevents internet use, and their phone tries to run an update at two in the morning on Thursday or between one and two in the morning on Thursday, and you have it blocked out um, and you have it to alert you, then you're going to get an alert at 1 30 in the morning that this device is trying to access the internet so it could be a little bit cumbersome depending on if you put your phone on the silent do not disturb whenever you sleep and if you say hey i want the time allowance um you can say i'm going to let the phone be used monday anywhere between 6 a.m and 8 p.m but it's only going to be able to be allowed usage for so many hours and you can say, I'm going to let it be allowed, but I'm only going to let it be used for four hour, four and a half, five hours. And after that, it's done. It can't be used anymore. Whether it's even, even if they're still within the time frame of being allowed, they won't be allowed to use it anymore because they've reached the specific amount of time. And that would be unlocked screen time. Um, so from there, on um, the application rules, Again, you can set up different devices and be able to monitor different devices. Um, from there, in the application rules, uh, you're going to have allowed applications or not allowed applications. Um, you can look down through here and say, no, we're not going to let you use YouTube, but um, we're going to let you use Netflix. And even there, 
uh, you can set in time limits. So on Monday, they can use Netflix for a certain amount of time. And then after that, it's over. So you'd say, hey, you can use it, but you can only use it for an hour a day, two hours a day. So you can go through all the applications that they have on their device, being 